Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity, and today we're going to be doing a little bit more uh, cloud scripting. Now, the other day I ended up posting uh, whether you guys wanted to, or for me to do, um, for me to teach you rather, um, how to basically set custom user data with cloud script, and a few of you said that you did. So basically that's what I'm going to be doing. So we're back inside the uh, PlayFab Multiplayer FPS project um, and uh, I did end up removing that little bit of code. Um, well, not removing, I just commented it out uh, when we log in. So basically, let's start off in our PlayFab dashboard. Let's go to automation and let's start our new function. So first thing we want to do is handlers, right? Um, so basically what I want to achieve here is I want to set the online or offline state of a user. This can later be uh, used for like friends lists or anything like that. So I'm going to basically have this uh, let's just call it set uh, set online state and this is going to be equal to function and args and context. Alrighty, so the first thing that we want to add is a new var called is online, and this is going to be equal to args dot online state. Alrighty, so the next thing we want to do, so I've got the documentation up here. Um, so this is just the PlayFab docs currently in the server and update user data. So the only thing that it is really required in order for this to work is our PlayFab ID. Along with, it's not required, but it, if you want to be setting things, it's our data as well. So let's go ahead and create the server dot update user data. And we are going to want to have our uh, play fab ID. This is going to be equal to our current player ID. Um, now this is a handy thing. I showed it in the last video, but basically this is automatically sent when you execute a cloud script. Um, it's nowhere you need to add. You just type current player ID and it gets the play current, the current player ID who executes this, uh, the current cloud script at the time. Alrighty, and the next thing is basically our data. So, basically just do uh, data and then we want to have our, we'll call it, is online. And I believe all we need to do <coughs> is just say is online. And that, that should be it. So we call this in our game. So var is online, gets the state. All right. That should be it. So let's save as revision 14. For me, it can be whatever revision it is for you. Um, okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to make some cloud script functions uh, basically available throughout the entire project. So I'm going to create a new script called PlayFab Cloud. And this is going to contain static functions that we can call basically anywhere. Because <clears throat> we're already logged into PlayFab, this is super handy to do. So we basically just do public void static, oh, not capitalized, sorry, static. And let's just call it, what do we call the cloud one? Okay, so let's just call it set user uh, online state. Let's go bool and we'll just say state. Alrighty, so the next thing that we want is uh, our sorry, we want to be using uh, playfab and using playfab dot 
find models. Um, oh boy. I'm going to do public static void, not public void static. Okay, so. Um, now we want to do our playfab uh, client API and execute cloud script. This takes our execute cloud script request. So let's just do that. Execute cloud script request. We'll call it request equals new execute cloud script request. All right, so the first thing is our function name. And this is going to be equal to uh, set online state. I think that's what we call it, set online state. Yep. And the next one is our function parameter. And so this is going to be equal to a new, um, basically an array of string, or not an array of string, whatever this has. I think it's objects, whatever it is. Um, and so this is going to just be called online state I believe we made it and that's going to be equal to a boolean state uh, let's just make sure online state online state okay the next thing is we want uh, to generate our play stream event and this is going to be called uh, set to true all right so let's go and set our request we then want to get our result callback and our error callback and for now that should be it <clears> there <throat> shouldn't be anything else that we really need to do here so what we're going to do is in our modifier manager when we uh yeah, so on a, when we connect to master, let's go ahead and call playfab cloud dot set online state to true. And then basically we want to get our event for, I think it's quitting. And then when the application quits, we want to say playfab cloud dot set user online state to false. Now, I'm doing it like this just because it's easier. What you would usually want to do is if you've disconnected from the Photon server and if you want to, and if you've quit the application, that way there's no way for it to ever be stuck to saying that you're online. Um, so yeah, we'll do this for now and I think that should be it. We should be pretty golden there. Uh, so all this looks good. I don't think there's any problems. We'll find out soon regardless. So let's go ahead into one of the players. What player is this? Test one, two, three, uh, player data title. Uh, that should be good. All right. So right now all the player data stuff is empty. Let's log in. And once we connect to Photon, it should have set our online state. Yeah, is it online equals to true. We can continue reloading this. Still true. As soon as we stop playing, this is online should now be set to false. There it is, it's set to false. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit with some some of this cloud scripting. Now that you guys basically know how the basics of doing this, right? It's actually super simple just to use the documentation. So, for example, just go into server and just basically anything here. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I can do to show as an example let's see um no idea what this add player tag does adds a given tag to a player profile the tag's name is automatically generated based on the source of the tag okay whatever so here you go super simple right it just wants a playfab id and a tag name so basically the first part of that is exactly the same playfab id the only difference is this is going to be a string um, and of course you want to set the update user data to add player tag. 
And it's just now that you guys know this, it's so simple to just to look at these um uh at the Playfab docs. Um, the only thing to note is some things will require. For example, this requires tag and name, but some things will only require the player the uh, the Playfab ID. So um, I don't know. Like here, okay, it's gonna want the Playfab ID, it's gonna want the character ID, and in all of these, you can basically leave out. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys learnt a bit. If you did, leave a like. If you guys enjoy what I do, please subscribe. It helps me a great deal. And please don't forget that we also have a Discord server, um, and there are a heap of people, including myself, that would love to help you out. Uh, if you have any problems or, or issues, um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.